I'm pretty aggressive with how uh, much I'm doing anything for tennis. Like I'm waking up at 4.30 now to go to the gym at 4.50 and then I do gym stuff for an hour, five days a week. And then I do tennis for anywhere from two to four hours in the day. You may recognize Dominique Ingram serving from the baseline of a tennis court at Marion Military Institute. He explains why he returned back for his third year at MMI after last year's season was canceled. Because you're not a student at Marion, you're a cadet. So we all have um, abilities to lead. And I felt like in the leadership position that I was in, I wanted to come back. And it was a very bold um, decision. I wanted to come back to Marion and be as excellent of a leader as I could for a whole year, just dedicated. But I learned so much over the pandemic and I knew that I was probably going to learn so much. And I felt like I had wasted a lot of my second year at Marion. I was like, all right, I was like, maybe we need to go back and we can try and go and change the culture as much as we can to just be better leaders on the tennis court and off the tennis court. Many people may not know that before tennis, he exceeded in other sports, but a tragic incident five years ago guided him to the hard course after years of recovery and patience. Growing up, I was a pretty athletic kid. Football was the one that I loved the most. My heart, something I wanted to do going to coaching for football. Um, unfortunately, that journey wasn't exactly the path that I ended up taking because I ended up getting injured uh, early in my sophomore year and I had three knee surgeries and that resulted over an 18 month recovery. You know, I had a serious talk with my parents over the summer and they said, you know, your doctor had actually told us that you wouldn't be able to return to any sports. And then like they had kept that from me for like five years and I was like, oh my gosh, like I didn't even know that. And they said the chances of me making it back were really low. And I just, I just took it one step at a time and just tried rehabbing every day and pushing myself. One thing he's pushing himself to do is creating his own mantra. Over the break, I actually, thinking about everything that happened in the last year and how Americans or everybody around the world, not even Americans, were probably inspired by Kobe Bryant, you know, the Mamba mentality. I took some time, I evaluated things, and I wanted to make my own thing similar to that. And so I created the dominant demeanor, and it's like an emphasis on the first three letters. Dominique isn't just a go-getter when it comes to tennis. He also dabbled in ultimate frisbee and loved it. And it's not even like the normal way people throw a frisbee. It's like this thing called a forehand where you like flick it like with your wrist um, the other direction as most people would. And I got, for some reason, I got really hooked on trying to figure out how to do that. So I spent like three straight weeks just like practicing it. And then when I went home, I ended up just doing frisbee for a week and then it just hit me one day and I was like, oh my gosh, Frisbee's not paying for my tuition. I got to get on the tennis courts. He left our conversation with one goal for the semester. Well, make that two goals. As for what I want the team to do. So obviously first I want us to win. I think that's what any athlete wants. But more importantly, um, I want us to set a standard at the end of the year that hard work actually does lead to, you know, success. I feel like last year's team was probably the most talented Marion team and we don't know what would have happened because the season cut it short. So I just want my team right now to work as hard as they can every single day. Next year, I would love for some of the teammates that I have this year who are going to be back next year. I want them to um, definitely be telling the other teammates, hey, this is what you do. You know, you got to wake up early in the morning. You got to go to the gym. You got to run at the track. You got to be doing extras. You got to stay after practice and serve. You got to do all the extra things if you want to make it.